Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 878. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In our last video, 877, uh, we had some managers and some salespeople. And we wanted to be able to just select this manager, Dave, have the sales reps come up here and extract these records from over here. So in this video, 878, we're going to add one more level of criteria. We're still going to have to look uh, for Dave. We need these three salespeople. Here's our data set. However, we also have an additional criteria. We need to find product. So only sales rep and these product. If Bob sold any of these three products, then we want to extract that record. Now, this is going to be an OR and AND criteria. So as we look through the salesperson column over here, salesperson, we're asking the question, and let's see, we have three names, Bob, Mike, Pete. Is that Bob, Mike, or Pete? We're never going to get um, more than one answer here, but it's an OR. Is that Bob, or is it Pete, or is it Mike or whatever these are, I'm still forgetting them, right? So we're asking the or question. But so we're going to ask the or question. Now we're going to also say, and is it this product or this product or this product? So the question on this column will be or, the question on this column will be or, but the fact that we're asking this one and this one means we'll have an and criteria. All right, first thing I'm going to use data, well, we're going to extract. We want to be able to just select the manager, have the criteria pop up here, and then the records pop up. All right, so the first thing, Alt-D-L, Tab, L, Tab, and I'm going to select these names right here. So we have our drop down. I'll select Dave. Now I need to select the sales rep from here. So I'm going to say, just as we did uh, last video, Index. These are the names we want to extract. F4 to lock it, comma, and the row number. Well, right now we have one, two, three, and we need to get one, two, three as we cop down, copy down. We could use small, but I'm going to use aggregate again. That's the 2010 function that allows us to select a function like small number 15, comma, and I'm going to say no errors, ignore errors. Now, the nice thing about this, instead of using small, we use aggregate. We get the same result as small and we don't have to use control shift enter now this here we need a row number so i'm going to say row of that uh, how about uh, f4 minus row of that f4 that's so we get uh, two we're going to get two minus two so we have to add one back in all right now array right here i need this to completely calculate, so I put parentheses around it, and then I'm going to divide by the criteria. Is anything in here F4 equal to this F4? Okay, so there's the array, comma, and the K will be our rows. This is the same thing we did uh, last video. Looks like I'm in B14, so B dollar sign 14 colon B14. So we got our K. Close parentheses on our row number. Close parentheses there. Control, sh um, just control enter and copy it down. And then I'm going to use if error. And right, now we need to also get the products based on the same thing. I'm going to, uh, I wonder if I could do some, here, watch this. I'm going to copy this. I don't know if this will work, but we'll try it. Um, so the records we want to extract is not this A1, so I'm going to pull this over here. That's what we want to extract. There's the row numbers, so I'm going to move this over here. I need to get that over there. That's this row down here. Um, and then the managers, they're slightly different order here, so I'm bringing this over here. I don't know, maybe that'll work. Control Enter. Copy it down. Software A. So it looks like it's working if I. Uh, so Sam definitely has three people, but only uh, two products. All right, so that's our criteria. Now, sim same thing we did uh, last video. We're going to extract records with a lot of criteria. In fact, uh, this time, we're never going to have more than 
four, and you can make this as big as you want. I'm going to Alt E A A. So let's just assume, for the simplicity of making this formula, the max we could have is four of each. You could make it as big or as small as you want. All right, same thing. We're going to have index to extract what? Well, our data is for the array is over here. So I'm going to select the first column, Control Shift Down Arrow. I'm going to hit F4 once and twice. I'm going to put a comma two close parentheses just to get it over here. We have this uh, sheet reference here now. All right, now obviously this two is not it. We're going to use aggregate again for small. We're going to have a bunch of or and then a bunch more or and we'll and it. All right, so aggregate. 15 for small, comma, 6 to avoid the errors, comma, and the array. Well, the array uh, at the, uh, and ultimately we need row numbers, right? So I'm going to say row, and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use this copy, paste it right here. And then I'm going to F4, because I want it locked in all directions. I think last video we kept it that way. But either way, it doesn't matter. It gives us the dimensions of the data set. So that minus row control V backspace, because all I need is the A2, F4, plus 1. All right, so we need some parentheses around the row. And now, this is going to get big. We're going to divide. And we're going to have OR and AND criteria. So uh, let's see if I can do this without making a mistake. Uh, we're going to need at least two. Maybe we have to come back and get another one. The first thing is we're going to do an OR. And as we saw in the last video, we build criteria based on the salesperson and uh, add. So And we're never going to get more than one true for any person. So we can simply add. I'm going to go over and get that range, whatever it is. Control Home to jump up to the top just because I didn't want to scroll. Control Shift Down Arrow F4. Close parentheses. All right, I'm going to jump, click back over here. Sometimes that messes up your formula. All right. Is that equal to, and I'm going to copy this because we're going to use it. Actually, no, is that equal to Tom F4? Close parentheses. See, now what it did is because I clicked back over here, it's now making everything sheet references. Now, let's see if I can put a plus and then copy this. Control C. All right, ready? One, two, three more. And then backspace, close parentheses. And then we're going to change B14 to 15, 16. Oh. 14, 15, 16. You can see the criteria start to merge over here, 17. So we have all those ORs. Now we need to multiply that. So we've got all the pluses. I am going to need one more parentheses here. Now we're going to, this brown run right here, if I hit F9, it just gives me a bunch of ones and zeros. It means it found those people, right? Control Z. But I want to only have those people where we have these products also. So I'm going to multiply. So adding is the or, multiplying is the and. I think I'm going to need two parentheses. I'm going to go over and get the column with the product. Control Home just to jump up and then click Control Shift Down Arrow F4. Close parentheses. I am going to have to click back over here. No. OK, equals to that one, F4, close parentheses, plus. Now I can copy this. I hope I'm getting all this right here. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, backspace on the plus. So we've got a 14. We need a 15, 16, 17. All right, and then we can watch the parentheses right there as I close parentheses. And now I'm going to close parentheses. You can see that one up there. So there we have the multiplying for the and and the pluses for the uh, or. All right, comma. <laughs> that is one big series of criteria. All right, so I'm in E13. So I'm going to put rows, 
E dollar sign 13 colon E 13. Close parentheses on the K. There's our row number. Control enter. Now I'm going to do if error because we're going to copy it way down. And then comma. All right, so let's see if this works. So this is going to have the and and the or. I'm going to copy it over and then immediately point and say fill without formatting. And then I'm going to copy this down. All right, so now we have our extracted data set for and and or. If I change this to Dave, it takes a while to calculate there. Julie, there it is. You know, uh, why don't we do this since that's taken so long to calculate. Notice each column, there's one, two, three, four, five times we have to run this aggregate, which all it's doing is getting the row number. So I'm going to control X. And then I'm going to click right there and down arrow, or maybe over right there. So for the time being, that'll give me an error. But I want to lock this. The column, I'm going to hit one, two, three times. Lock the column reference. So it goes the, this way, it's locked. But when it goes down, okay, just for a moment, I'm going to come over here, equal sign, control V. And then uh, right click. Delete, and then I'm going to double click and send it down, and then I'm going to right click, insert. Maybe, may you know, maybe you may or may not want to. Uh, cl let's clear the formatting. Have that as part of the report or not? But we could keep that off to the side. Control B. And now I can copy this over and say fill without the formatting. And then I can copy it down. So if you have a report, you know, like this stuff probably doesn't want to be in, or maybe it does. You can organize it and do page setup on it however you want. But now when I pick Dave, it goes a little bit faster. All right, uh, that was a bunch of OR criteria, two sets of OR criteria, sales people and product, and then together they had an AND for extracting records and bringing the big uh, array part of this with that great aggregate 2010 function off to the side to speed it up a little bit. All right, see you next video.